Hello lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the three phases that you're gonna go through during your weight loss journey. If you feel like you're stuck with your weight loss, if you feel like you're looking at other people and they're losing so much weight and you're not, make sure you watch this entire video because I filled it up with so many good tips and awesome great experiences that you guys can use during your journey coming right up. Three, two, one. By the way, if you guys are new here, my name is Sepia and I've lost about 50 pounds over the past few years and I've been able to keep it off successfully. I also got a bunch of certifications in nutrition recently and I'm so excited to share all of my knowledge and experience with you guys in this video right here, right now. My channel is all about healthy, sustainable weight loss, so if that's something you're into, make sure you consider subscribing. Now let's get right into this video, shall we? Now the first phase of the weight loss is the beginning, is the motivation phase. You're very motivated, you've already made the decision after so long thinking about it, you have a plan, you know exactly what you're gonna do, and you're willing to take whatever it takes to put your health first and make things happen for yourself. If you're in that stage, I can relate to you. I have been there, I talk to a lot of my clients that are in that stage right now, or they've been in that stage. You're very excited, you're very happy, so things are really going well, and you're at a very good stage of your life, and everything's looking great. So I congratulate you for making the decision and putting yourself first at this point. But let's talk about some of the things that you're gonna do during this phase. Some of the things that are common to do during this phase is that you're doing cardio, you're doing weight lifting, you're doing a lot of running, walking, cardio, whatever. Whatever that you know how to do or learning how to do, you're gonna add to this phase. You're doing a lot of things at once because you're very excited and you're really determined to make things happen. This phase usually takes about five to eight weeks depending on how motivated you are about your whole decision. Towards the end of this phase, you're gonna see a lot of changes in your skin, your energy, your mood. Some of the people that are close to you might actually notice some changes in your body as well. And if you have before and after pictures, you will see slight changes happening. So you're very, very excited. Now this is when we move to phase two. Phase two is basically when life throws something in your face to kind of test you out. And I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but if you're doing really, really well in life, something happens and you know, you're gonna lose your motivation. I don't know what's gonna happen to you, but some of the things that has happened to me in the past was family related, work related, maybe I went on vacation and lost my motivation, or I don't know, we went under the lockdown for two years and I didn't have a gym to go to, so how's that for losing motivation, right? But when life happens, when life tests you like this, it's really up to you and how you're gonna come out of it. Are you gonna give up or are you gonna just keep reaching for more? So when life tests you, you gotta really show life how bad do you really want this? How bad do you wanna lose weight? You gotta really show it by not giving up and really trying to figure out, try to motivate yourself in a way to maybe pick things back up and try to get back on track. Now it's up to you to make it happen. No one's gonna do it for you. No one will be able to ever make that decision for you. It's up to you and how you deal with these situations. And I'm not gonna lie to you and you're not gonna like hearing this, but this is gonna keep happening to you. This still to this day happens to me on a very regular basis. So this is something you gotta get used to. It's not gonna stop, but what I can promise you is that it's gonna get easier. getting out of phase two and getting back on phase one. Now this is gonna be a loop as I mentioned earlier in this video. So what you wanna do is to figure out a way of getting out of phase two. Some of the things I used to do to really get myself motivated again was buying a new set of gym clothes or listening to motivational videos. I also got maybe a new trainer or a new online gym program or anything I could do to get myself out of that rod. One of the most important things that I learned during my weight loss journey was instead of finding motivation and getting myself motivated and hyped up, I really wanted to focus on habits building and that kind of stuck with me. That was something I could rely on every single day. So one thing I did during the pandemic because I wasn't going to the gym anymore, I didn't know how to put myself in a working out mindset you know, in my bedroom. So what I started doing is to, when I went to the bathroom in the mornings and I washed my face, I just put on my gym clothes before I even had my coffee that way I was halfway there if you guys want to know more about habits building I really strongly recommend checking out this video it's actually one of my most popular videos on my channel and it goes over it's a short review of atomic habits by James Clear you're gonna love it 
as I mentioned earlier after phase three your loop is going to repeat itself over and over again you're gonna be motivated not motivated motivated not motivated and you're gonna keep going and you're gonna pick yourself up every time and you're gonna continue going and it's all about resilience and not giving up for you to be able to achieve the weight loss goals now I also wanted to mention that food addiction is a real addiction I believe personally that it's one of the worst addictions out there because food is everywhere everyone enjoys having it around you and everyone's gonna be having it at every single party if you're not gonna have food you're weird but you need to be weird for a while until you can get back on track of having a normal life because you let go of those habits you've been overeating you've had a lot of unhealthy food you have gained a lot of weight and there's no way around it you can't just have a little bit of ice cream here and there you got to be really really strict with your diet for a while until you build really good habits you build a strong core as I mentioned it in every single one of my videos make and build a strong core and then you could fall back into your core later but before you do that you have no business of having cheat meals here and there and going crazy with your cheat meals so make sure you stick to a plan have a strict plan strict diet plan that you can follow if you want to get started and kind of start cleaning out your diet you can always download my programs linked in the description below I'm sure it's helped so many of you guys I've had so many good feedback so let me know how you guys like it make sure you download it it's absolutely no cost I hope you guys enjoy it other than that if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up follow me on social media on Instagram and on TikTok. make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for for more videos coming your way thank you so much for supporting me thank you for being a part of my youtube journey and subscribing every single day i love seeing that see you guys in the next video bye bye